Greeting everyone. I am Manisha, student of Gayatri Vidya Parishad College of Engineering, Autonomous Mechanical Engineering Section One. My teammates are Danush, Sai Pravan, Chandrasekhar, Sathik, and Subhi. Our project title is Smart Passenger Waste Collector. Throwing waste outside of a moving train leads to environmental degradation. Passengers frequently hurl plastic bottles, food packets out of the window. Every day, approximately 6,289 tons of plastic waste is thrown onto the railway tracks. This is due to the lack of fully efficient waste collection system in Indian railways. These are the AutoCAD models of our prototype. This is our prototype Smart Passenger Waste Collector. This is the model of single compartment sidewall of a passenger train. This is the inside part where we can find two openings. One is for dry waste and the other is for wet waste. In this we mainly absorb the doors. The doors are equipped with spring mechanism as it is closed automatically once we remove our hand from the door. This is the outside part of our model. It is designed aerodynamically to reduce the drag force when train is in motion. The door can be opened in two ways depending upon the position of the waste cleaner. One is from bottom to top and the other is from top to bottom. Now we will see its functions. Passenger can dispose the waste through the windows in this way and the disposed waste is collected into disposal covers placed inside it. And these covers along with waste can be removed comfortably by railway cleaner in this way. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Ankit from Mechanical Section 3 from Gayatri Vidya Parishit College of Engineering, Autonomous. I am here with my teammates, Sonali, Chandrathena, Dinesh, Mohan, and Sri Vidraj. Our project is based on the concept of ambulance boots, which book an ambulance in an efficient way. Most of the road lights find it difficult while contacting an ambulance due to various reasons. According to a report published by Times of India, 30% of deaths are caused due to delayed ambulances. Another Indian government report shows that more than 50% of heart-related cases reach hospitals late, which can constitute unavailability of ambulances. Hence, total lights tend to reach their own transport in numerous ways. In our project, the concept of ambulance boot is introduced, which is a fluid that sends an SMS to a nearby ambulance driver requesting to pick up the patient. This can be achieved with the help of Arduino Nano, satellite phone and a GSM module. And this is how an ambulance booth works. When a patient arrives at the ambulance booth, what he does is simply press the button, which sends an SMS to a nearby ambulance driver. Once an ambulance driver receives the SMS, he can view the location from which booth the SMS has been sent. Now the driver shares his live location with the booth so that the patient can track the location of the ambulance. Hello everyone, my name is Sai Kumar from Mechanical Section 1 and from Gayatri Vidya Parshad College of Engineering, Autonomous. And my team consists of another 5 members and they are Mahesh, Lokesh, Raviteja, Sushant and Tejendra. Our project title was Smart Cranes to Minimize Industrial Accidents. Our project idea was to install human detective sensors to the crane's body in all directions. Means ultimately crane has to sense any human movement in nearby of it and has to stop boom rotation immediately. According to CPWR Quarterly Second Report 2017 and by OSHA, in construction's fatal for struck by hazards are the second most leading cause of workers death. Out of total 991 deaths, 93 are from struck by object in CY 2016. To show our idea in prototype form, we use IR sensors, Arduino Uno and stepper motor as major components. Coming to working of the prototype. Here we can see fixed arm attached to the crane's model. This is rotation of it in 360 degrees. 
example, any virtual like this comes in front of any sensor immediately it stops at turning like this. If we consider the other side of the frame, the boom will stop like this on the station. So in this way if we install sensors to regular heavy frames in workplaces, we can minimize industrial accidents due to striking of heavy loads. Thank you. Hello everyone, myself Chandu from Mechanical Section 1 B.Tech Second Year Gayatri Vidya Parishad College of Engineering Autonomous. Our project two-way exhaust pipe with two alternate opening and closing valves for better journey in extreme driving conditions. And my teammates are C.V. Ramana, A. Jayaprakash Narayana, A. Avanish Chandra, A. Banu Prakash, G. Shyam Prasad, D. Sai Chandu. In extreme weather conditions like floods, people find difficulty to travel. Any obstruction in exhaust passes may lead to breakdown of car. In our project, a two-way exhaust pipe was made with two alternate open and closed valves, so that when water or any foreign substances enter into exhaust passes, regular valve is closed and other valve is opens. In this prototype, when water comes inside, we pass the electricity. The valves so the main outlet valves closes and bypassed valve open. So the smoke comes out from the bypassed pipe while vehicle moving in water. Components required are OLED display, HC05 Bluetooth module, LiPo battery, Arduino Pro Mini, EM18 RFID reader, active RFID tags, location transmitter that is GPS module. Radio frequency identification is a technology which will work on frequency of radio waves. We can track multiple objects using RFID technology. RFID reader which will be placed in a watch consists of three components. Those are microcontroller, RF signal generator, receiver. This reader will continuously send radio waves through antenna to RFID tags which will be attached to the objects. These RFID tags consist of a transponder, rectifier circuit, controller and memory. Whenever the tag is in the range of reader, then RFID tag will transmit its feedback signal back to the reader so that it can be identified. Let us see how this works. Attach RFID GPS tags to the objects which you think you lose frequently. The RFID reader detects the presence of the tagged object as soon as you hold it and the GPS module will be activated. Each tag is different from the other. The tagged objects are stored in the watch by their names with the help of Arduino Pro Mini. The GPS module stores the dropout location of the tagged object. Tap on the name of the object you want to find. The RFID GPS software will show the directions along with the distance, altitude, both indoor and outdoors.
మైసల్ వెంకట్ సాయ్ ఫ్రమ్ మెకానికల్ సెక్షన్ వన్ బీటెక్ సెకండ్ ఇయర్ గాయత్రి విద్యా పరిషత్ కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అటోనమస్ అవర్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ ఇస్ అన్ యాప్ టు ఎస్ ఇస్ ట్రక్ డ్రైవర్స్ అండ్ మై టై టీమ్ మేట్స్ ఆర్ హర్ష జయచంద్ర రామ్ మోనిష్ సాయి ధర్మేష్ సాయి శ్రీను అండ్ సాయి నితిన్ ట్రక్ డ్రైవర్ ఈజ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ జాబ్స్ ఇన్ ద సొసైటీ హూ డెలివర్ గూడ్స్ ఫ్రమ్ వన్ ప్లేస్ టు అనదర్ ఈవెన్ ఇన్ డిఫికల్ట్ టైమ్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ ద యాప్ ఈజ్ ఇన్స్టాల్డ్ అండ్ ఓపెన్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ కంటెంట్స్ ఆర్ షోన్ ఆన్ ద స్క్రీన్ టు గెట్ స్టార్టెడ్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ సైన్ ఇన్ విత్ గూగుల్ దెన్ చూస్ అన్ అకౌంట్ టు కంటిన్యూ టు ఓపెన్ ద యాప్ హెజ్ ఈమెయిల్ అకౌంట్ ఈజ్ షూ షాప్ నేమ్ యువర్ షాప్ అడ్రస్ యువర్ షాప్ ఓపెన్ టైమ్ యువర్ షాప్ క్లోజింగ్ టైమ్ then the details are filled and click on next then the app asks permission whether our location can be accessed or not then give the permission the blue color dot on the map shows the present location if you have your mechanical shop at that location you can save it by clicking on save the location if your mechanical shop is not in your present location then you can locate the location on the map where it is present and click on save the location option after clicking on save location the contents on the screen will be displayed as shown if you want to make any changes in your location edit option will be available now your shop will be visible to truck drivers on the map you are a truck driver then click on the truck driver After clicking driver, it asks to fill the details such as name and phone number. Then the details are filled and click on next. Then it asks access of the location give the permission to the map is displayed showing the truck mechanic shop in red color pin if we click on show mechanics then the details of the truck mechanics are shown there will be a call option available so you can call the mechanic directly who is near to you this is the prototype of an app to assist truck drivers when there is a mechanical breakdown thank you
electronic waste. This is an app that is designed to collect the e-waste from households by recycling and repair centers. In this app, we provide details of few recycling centers, list of some e-products and place to fill your details. Here is the page of the maps where you can locate the repair shops and recycling centers that are provided in this. These are the recycling centers that can be accessed through our app. Honor Service Center, Samsung Service Center, LG Authorized Service Center, Eyeball Service Center, Greenwave Environmental Solutions. This is Products Column. In this Products Column, we categorized all the electronic waste we are taking into two categories, Small Household and Large Household. In Small Household, we include phones, tablets, electronic chips and laptops. And in Large Households, we include television and ACs. Here is a page of the account where you can fill your details like your name, the product and the problem with the product. Here you can also provide your details of content through which the service provider can access you. This is all about our app. Thank you. Hello everyone. We are from Gayatri Vidya Parishad College of Engineering Autonomous with the group number is 10. Our project is about phishing attack with effective outcome. Here is our app phishing tracker linked with app sheet in Google Sheets. Let's check it out how it works. By tapping on the main menu, we can see the list of activities involved in our app. And we gave the basic information about our app here. Wait a minute and read it carefully. If you found any trouble with our app, you can leave a valuable feedback here. And it sounds good that now you can share our app with your friends. By giving a tap on the plus icon, you can register yourself with the mail to be monitored. And here's the registration process form. Fill the details to get registered yourself. That's it, your registration has been completed successfully. By giving a tap on your entry, you can edit your details at any time. Ok, now we'll go back and check the Google Sheets to collect the user's data. That's it, here we collect the details of the users to monitor their mail. Thank you. Hello all, this is Bhavna Pundit. I am a B.Tech undergrad student from Gayatri Vidya Parishad College of Engineering, posting my third year in Computer Science. My startup idea is Tradition On Way. It is a collection of fashion designers from the topmost university of India and tailors from local cities. The main idea of this startup is to bridge the gap between the tailors, fashion designers and common people using technology. We also wanted to promote small businesses to show their online presence. We are promoting handlooms, handmaids to promote make in India. And this is the prototype that we have developed where the fashion designers can register themselves with the website and this is the place where the list of the fashion designers will be visible to the customer so they can book an appointment with a favorite fashion designer. Thank you for giving us this wonderful opportunity and this idea also got selected for Women's Startup Incubation Program for 6 months which is organized by IIMB and SRCL. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Shreya from Civil Department Section 2 of Gayatri Vidya Varshit College of Engineering. I am here on behalf of Team 7. Our project is about post-treatment of waste generated in India with effective outcome. The root cause behind this project is that urban India today generates 62 million tons of waste annually. With changing consumption patterns and rapid economic growth, it is estimated that urban municipal solid waste generation will increase to 165 million tons by 2030. Hence, India faces major environmental challenges associated with waste generation and inadequate waste collection, transport, treatment and disposal. So we came up with the idea of Smart Dustbin which is a better version. The goal of our project is to minimize the contact touch between the dustbin and the person and to segregate dry and wet waste. Ultrasonic sensor is used to automatically open and close the lid as it measures the distance of the target object by emitting ultrasonic sound and converts the reflected sound into an electrical signal. 
a moisture sensor is implemented to separate the dry and wet garbage which paves the way of other concepts in waste management like composting recycling and incineration which thereby results in reducing the waste from landfills and eventually preventing land water and air pollution thank you this is rajesh from group 2 and i'm here to explain the final version of our app Firstly, clicking on the job availability, the user will have four options to select. And here, the user will be able to see different opportunities with the selected qualification, and the user can also apply by clicking on the green button. Coming back, the user have three more options to select, and here how it works. Hello everyone. We, the members of Innovative Designers from Civil Engineering of Gayatri Vidya Parishad College of Engineering, here today to present our views regarding agricultural marketing. Initially, agricultural marketing consists of two major concepts that is, agriculture and marketing. The first concept agriculture aims at producing food products and the second concept marketing refers to the activities done by business organizations. Agricultural marketing includes many activities starting from production process till its retailing. Farmers are backbone of our country but nowadays they are facing many difficulties in having a tri meal per day. Based on the results of our primary survey, we came to know that the main problem is faced by the farmers in getting their real income. This is due to the intervention of mediators who have been buying the harvest at lower price and selling at higher rates. Now this is a situation where the customers are in need of quality products at fair prices and the farmers for reasonable prices on their produce. By creating a direct online marketing platform that connects farmers and customers, all the malpractices of mediators were put up to end. AgriShopping is an agricultural e-commerce online platform where the users can shop different products and get it delivered to them. Interested farmers can open their stores and sell produce through online direct marketing. Initially using Booter one should log in to create their own store link and then App Creator 24 helps in creating an individual app that allow farmers to add and sell different products after installing. This is an interface of a sample store created by our team. The details of customers are secured and they can post their comments in review section. This app contains chat system to clarify the customer doubts about products, delivery and payment issues. The solution is designed based on all the features of design thinking and innovation, namely desirability, feasibility and viability. By educating farmers and creating their own online store strives to bring direct contact with customers, which in turn improves the agriculture sector in a more effective way. Finally, the generated solution helps farmers in their cost of living. That's the end of our presentation. Thank you for your attention. Hello everyone. I am Nitya from Civil Section 1. I am here on behalf of the team creating our apps. The main aim of our team is sending education system throughout the nation. In our country, we have many educational boards like ICSC, CBSC, state boards, and other international boards. This multiple board system creates a knowledge gap among the students, which causes educational stress. 
keeping this in mind, Indian government leads a proposal of senior education system. It was declined, considering struggle of students and teachers. To overcome this issue, we are here with the scheme to reduce one book system to 6 standard, then after an year to 7 standard, and followed by higher standards, so that the growth of single education system takes place along with this patch, such that we can have a year gap to troubleshoot the loopholes of the syllabus, curriculum, and examination method. Ultimately, multiple board system diminishes at a slow pace, and single education system is established in our country. Thank you. Hello, everyone. This is Sampath Kumar from Civil Engineering Department, Section 2 of Gayatri Vidya Parishit College of Engineering. I am here on behalf of our Team 4 to speak a few lines on our project about promoting gender equality through self-development. The root cause behind this project is that there are many negative aspects in the society and lead to delay in social advancement. The main objective of this project is to implement the equality in our society. Through the research made by us, we tried to focus upon the inequality regarding gender. According to a recent statistics, women are facing 10% more sexual violence than men. This discrimination can be visible in aspects like education, workplaces and in politics. This leads to the drop in rate of mutual progress. Our aim is to increase the mutual progress and promote gender equality in the best possible ways that could be uprooted from the educational system itself by proper training in self-development. Firstly, we came up with an idea of forming multi-skill club featuring with the help desk that would be creating a platform for students to express their views, problems and ideas and discuss among themselves to create a plan and to execute them. Then comes the section of paint your paint in which the participants can come up with their skills and participants activities like poems, painting, stories, artworks etc. The life skills section helps the participants a lot in knowing, growing themselves mentally through problem solving, critical thinking and virtual situation by empathy. Finally, self-defense section is to learn the basics in defense. By this club, we intend to provide support to self-improvement and aim to change the roots and branches. In the prototype, here we present the logo of our blog named Vipcure, representing the colors of qualities women should possess to obtain gender equality and fulfill the lack of support in emergency situations. Final agenda of our blog is to provide motivation and change the way of thinking of some part of the society which excludes women from practicing their human rights. Thank you. No fuel quality or poor maintenance. Now, when it comes to outcomes of the project, the efficiency of fuel decreases due to few communicative components like Zigbee, Vanit and Bluetooth. For liberating and increasing efficiency of fuel, a sensor is used. It is a oxygen sensor, which increases the efficiency of fuel by managing vehicle in a liberate efficient limit. And this is about the problems and outcomes of the project. So finally, we would like to conclude about the project. Vehicle to vehicle communication is the future major role for the world as it helps to eradicate the most important problem in the world, which decreases the death rate on the roads and avoids accidents. The basic purpose of technology uses is about the obstacles and the safety benefits from the V2V, which could reduce the percentage of non-impaired crashes. In this, a generic is explained to analyze the existing problems and to propose a new solution. Thank you, sir, for giving us this opportunity and helping throughout the project. Good morning, and all. I am Naushan from AZ Section 4. I am here on behalf of Team Mindbenders. Our project is remote sensing of misplaced objects, and the goal of our project is to detect objects that are lost or misplaced. Because of the hustle bustle of the life these days, it has become the most common to misplace things. Missing things frequently shows bad impact on one's mental health. To overcome this issue, our team has come up with a solution of automatic detection of misplaced objects using a remote. When the button on the remote is pressed, the detector is with object flash light and produces sound. The light helps to find the object even when there is no sufficient light in the room. Thank you. Hi one and all. I am from Team 8 of EC3. Our design challenge is to provide medication in times of emergency. This demo video shows how our app will work in times of emergency. 
lady suddenly felt headache and tend to get unconscious so she immediately used her healthcare app and clicked on emergency option by using gps tracking cab driver traces her location immediately cab driver approaches to her and let her get into the car and makes her admitted into the hospital finally this healthcare app is very useful in times of emergency this product comes with universal cloud access user friendly interface and gps tracking system Hello everyone my name is Aprav Chanta I am currently pursuing my BTech final year in Gayatri Vidya Parishad College of Engineering at Thomas Wise I belong to CSA department today I am here to discuss about my project which is 3D game kit for unity Although there are various kinds of game development engines in the market I chose unity because as for me it has the best UI which allows even new users to get used to the interface in days So coming back to my project which is 3D game kit for unity users could easily import the game kit as if they are importing any kind of other package from the asset store After importing The game kit prompts the user to enter their name. I did this because I want the game kit to be interactive with the user. After entering the name, the user is requested to select the main category as well as the sub category for their game. After selecting main category and sub category, the user is navigated to a window where he could use the window to navigate to other modules. For example, let us talk about main menu generator module. Using this module, user could easily redesign the main menu of the game to their theme. The main menu generator is packed with various types of backgrounds, button themes as well as sounds. Now let us talk about object spawner module. Using object spawner module, user could easily generate or create 3D objects with clicks. User could create both pixelated as well as thrilly rated objects. Now let us talk about a special module which is 3D character module. user after generating or creating a 3d model from blender or any other kind of software he could easily import that 3d model into the module that is 3d character module the 3d character module takes in that 3d object provided by the user and then it generates the rigification as well as locomotives animations and scripts automatically and gives the output a 3d model with all these inclusions if the user does this manually by himself it almost all takes 8 to 10 hours for scripting as well as rigification and also adding locomotives but by using our game kit all this process is compressed to 30 minutes that is all about our game kit thank you hello everyone i am manila studying btech second year in mechanical 3 In Gayatri Vidya Parishad College of Engineering Autonomous I belong to the team 5 which is named as Innovation Skyline My team members are Marisa Jotsna Anil Kumar Odur Puneet Lokesh Pagdala and Rudvi Sai Nayak Banot We aim at replacing disposable items with reusable items In this process we have made seven prototypes to explain how different disposable items can be repurposed on a daily basis India is getting buried in its own garbage as a huge quantity of solid waste is generated daily and is never picked up and it poisons land air and water the figures show that india generates nearly 26000 million tons of plastic waste on daily basis and 94 lakh ton trash every year We have constructed seven models so as to reduce the amount of waste that is being disposed on a daily basis day by repurposing them in beautiful and creative ways. We have made a CD hanger out of disposable CDs. Next, we have made a photo frame out of disposable CDs and ice cream sticks. The next one, we have made a CD coaster which can be repurposed as a table coaster. The next one we have made a pen stand out of disposable water bottles using a CD again as a base. The next up we have potted a plant in a coffee mug. Next we have used a rubber gasket as a crochet material by weaving it into a beautiful and aesthetic article. We have used wool in the process of weaving this rubber gasket. Next we have made a DIY door mat out of an old sari. The old sari was cut into yarns of threads and then this was weaved into a beautiful doormat so these were our prototypes thank you